In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install complementary shaders for Minecraft Java version 1.21.8. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up mod rinse like so. Now, enter, and here you'll find modders.com with mod rinse right here. Click on mod. Okay, once you are on the modern homepage, what you want to do is simply go ahead and go to the top of the website to discover content, and then you want to hover over that and then go down to shaders. Now, here you're going to find both versions of complementary shaders. We have Reimagined and Unbound. There's two types of shaders under the same name. They are the same shaders, but with different settings and presets. So, what we will do here, I'll just download both of them, and then you will choose which one you want. So, to begin, to get complementary shaders reimagined, we'll just go ahead and click on the name, and then all you have to do is go to versions right here, and then you want to go to game versions and choose 1.21.8. From there, you'll find a release, then just go to the download button right here, and you're done with reimagined. Now, if you want Unbound, you'll do the same thing. So, Discover Content, Shaders, and now you have Unbound. So, just click on the name, then go to Versions, then go to Game Versions, and choose 1.21.8. And here, you have a release, and just like before, click the green download button. You can just choose which one you want, or you can download both of them like I did, if you want to be able to use two shaders in Minecraft, for example, even though you can only use one shader at a time. So here, you will have either Unbound or Reimagined, but you now need to get something to burn shaders on Minecraft. So what we'll be using here is Iris. So to get Iris, you want to go to a new tab, then you, you want to go to your search bar, and then you want to go ahead and search up for Iris shaders, like so. Now enter, and here you'll find Iris shaders are dev, just click on the iris shaders and this will bring you to the iris shaders homepage. So from there, just go to download now here, this is a button. And now go to the download universal jar button. And you now have iris shaders. Now, if you can't run that jar file, what you will have to do is simply go ahead and go to a new tab. Then you want to go to your search bar, I will have this in the description as well but you want to search up JDK24. Now enter, and here you will find a website called overcall.com with Java downloads. Click on that, and this will bring you to this website. So just do accept all, go ahead and scroll down, you'll find JDK24. It is selected on Linux by default, so if you have Mac OS or Windows, choose which one you want, but in most cases it will be Windows, so just click x64 installer using this link. So click this link, Download and install Java24, and then you'll be able to run this file here. Okay? So once you have this, you can go ahead and close or minimize your web browser. I'll just close mine. And from there, you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Here, what you have to do is double click the iOS installer. And it will show up with a little installer window. For the select game version, select 1.21.8. Here, you can have iris only or iris plus fabric if you want to add some mods. I'll keep it default, and from there, you can go and click install. And once it says completed, you can close the installer. Now, just go to the Minecraft launcher, and with the Minecraft launcher, you will be able to go ahead and see that we have iris and sodium here for 1.12.8. So all you have to do is simply go ahead and click play. So once you click to play, it will download everything and load up Minecraft automatically. From there, we will be able to add the two shaders to the Minecraft instance, and then you'll be able to use them. So first of all, let's just go ahead and go to the Minecraft home screen like this. If you want to add the two shaders, what you can do, you can go to options, then video settings, then shader packs, and then what you want to do is go to open shader pack folder and you're now in the shader packs folder. So this is dot minecraft shader packs 
and all you have to do is go to the downloads folder here here you should see one of your shaders of both of them so just select them and copy them then go to the top left arrow to go back to your PS folder and click paste and now you copy pasted the two shaders or the one shader it depends what you want to do in dot Minecraft shader packs so once you have this you can go to the Minecraft instance again and now you will notice that you have one shader or both shaders and this is how you activate them so what you want to do is click on either one of them and click apply and this is how your shaders will be activated so from there let's just do done and once we're back on the home screen you can go to a single player world but you can also go to a server or a realm it works on all of them so once we are in our world for example you will see that we have our shader so this is our shader there you go it works fine and if you want to use the other shader you can go on escape options video settings shader packs and select unbound and this will be the same thing but with some differences so the clouds will be different and some settings as well so yeah let's just wait for this to load up there you go and now we can do done escape escape and here's the same thing but with a different like aesthetic so yeah you can just go ahead and choose which shader you prefer but yeah that is the idea of complementary shaders you can have two types to choose from and yeah it was great in minecraft so that is how we download and install complementary shaders for minecraft java version 1.21.8 so yeah if you liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye